Hi guys, I'm Chris, and this is my little boy Link, and today for our entry to the Breath of the Wild demo at EB Expo 2016, we're going to take you on a walk through our Zelda collection. Here we go. Rightio, so I'll jump behind the camera now. We're going to start with up the top here, we've got the San Diego Comic Con limited edition World of Nintendo Link action figure or figure and then let me step back we've got the Horror Warriors Legends Majora's Mask 3DS and Zelda Triforce Heroes promotional boxes from EB Games we've got a new in box Lynx crossbow training and then we've got the uh, boxes for the Phantom Hourglass and Skyward Sword uh, mini figures that come in the plastic eggs you can buy them at EB Games uh, and I've got the actual figures out that I'll show you later on and going into the main game shelf, I've got the Hyrule Warriors on Wii U, which is a uh, EB Games pre-order. We've got our Game & Watch, Japanese versions of Oracle of Ages and Wind Waker and Four Swords Adventure and Link's Awakening DX. Then we've got the Wii U Wind Waker HD that comes with the lovely Ganondorf figurine, as you can see there sorry about all the lighting majora's mask 3ds uh, pre-ordered from eb games the skyward sword limited edition with the gold controller and the ocarina of time 3ds edition as well uh, over here we've got our Game Boy advance sp little bits and pieces some 3d printed stuff now the japanese combo game for the Game Boy advance here also got the late 90s slash uh, sorry early 90s slash late 80s Nelsonic watch moving on down to the next shelf we've got the Legend of Zelda on the Famicom from Japan then we've got the Legend of Zelda and Link's Awakening uh, not Link's Awakening sorry the Adventures of Link on the Famicom disc system we have the Twilight Princess HD pre-ordered from EB Games. Back here on GameCube, we've got Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, the Collector's Promo Disc, and Four Swords Adventure, which I've got the big box for further down. Uh, this is Zelda Goddess of Wisdom. It's a ROM hack that was put onto a Super Nintendo cartridge. Down here, we've got a little Wind Waker keychain for Wii U. I think that's from Japan. We've got some Harmony Beat art. Link to the Past on Super Nintendo, my personal pick as the best Zelda game of all time, followed closely by Ocarina of Time on Nintendo 64 and Majora's Mask. Over here we've got the Hyrule Warriors Legends for 3DS, uh, that was the limited edition pre-ordered from EB Games. We've got the Wand of Gamelon and the Faces of Evil on the Philips CDI, they are legitimate, they're not reproductions. Uh, there are no reproductions in my collection except for that, which was never an official game anyway. Heading down to the next shelf, we've got, that's the Majora's Mask 3DS XL console, pre-ordered from EB Games. That's another edition of the GameCube Wind Waker, but that's the, the dual disc edition. Over there we've got Twilight Princess on Wii, and the Wii Selects edition. Uh, that's the actual disc from Hyrule Warriors. Over here we've got Ocarina of Time in, from Japan. Uh, Link's Awakening DX in a custom case that I made. Uh, Link's Awakening DX Japanese version, non-boxed. I've got a few of them. Triforce Heroes, Link Between Worlds. Across the back here, we've got Link's Awakening, Ages, Seasons, Minish Cap, Zelda, Link, and Link to the Past Four Swords. Uh, what else we got? The actual games. Majora's Mask 3D, Ocarina of Time 3D, Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass. Uh, this is Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land the more known but still not very well known spin-off title. Uh, this is actually the second game in this season. While I can't remember the name at all, and it never got an English release, check out Tingle, looking ripped and creepy. Here he is again. That's Tingle's Balloon Ride. That was a uh, Club Nintendo exclusive to Japan that I had to import. <coughs> Pardon me. We move on down to shelf number four or five if you count the top. Here we have the Zelda lamp 
from the Club Nintendo Redemption in Australia, Adventure of Link and The Legend of Zelda, where it all, all began. Wind Waker HD, got the Nintendo Mini Classics Zelda over here, the Hyrule edition of the 3DS XL, that was pre-ordered from EB Games. Over here we've got one of the puzzles, which is a, a Club Nintendo Redemption from the Americas region, I believe. It wasn't available here in Australia, although EB Games have now got this in store. You've got three medallions from Spirit Tracks, the gold, silver, and bronze, brought in off eBay. Uh, we've got the CD cover that came with Majora's Mask 3DS, more 3D printed bits and pieces. This is one of the pre-order gifts from EB Games Australia. Uh, we won the previous games. Here we have a Christmas Christmas ornament from the US. Got the candy tins and some loose Game Boy Advance games. A DS case. Here we have I actually got two of these. These are the feather styluses you can see there in a ruby case from Spirit Tracks in Japan. I believe they may have been a pre-order gift. Moving down, we've got the full set of the Legend of Zelda manga, pre-ordered from EB Games when they were released. Two of the three tin lunch boxes. Uh, the third one I've actually got at a friend's place I need to go and pick up. Here, I believe this was a Club Nintendo Australia Redemption. Uh, it's a DS case. And then we've got a 3DS XL for A Link Between Worlds. <coughs> that was also pre-ordered from EB Games. And here, action figures for Ganondorf, Impa, and Link. Keep on moving down to the ground level. We've got two calendars, 2016 and miscellaneous calendar. Uh, we've got the Oracle of Seasons game guide. It's also a Choose Your Own Adventure book. The Four Swords big box. Try and get in under there. We've got Hyrule Historia and the box of game guides that was pre-ordered through EB Games. Now those game guides are limited edition, numbered with production and come with a certificate of authenticity. We've got some miscellaneous stuff from eBay that people have made. Back here we've got a whole bunch of CD soundtracks. And here, and here we have the old children's book, The Legend of Zelda Moblin's Magic Spear. Inside we have tickets and a program to the Symphony of the Goddesses when the conductor Emir Noon brought that show to the Sydney Opera House. Here we've got the 25th anniversary 3DS pre-ordered from EB Games and back here notepad and a whole bunch of game guides to all different games. Every different edition I could find and also a little bit of custom artwork there. That's the first shelf, which you'll see there in its entirety. We'll move over to the second shelf. Now over here, we've got a laser etch LED hanging light, just custom artwork, mouse pad, 3DS case. Up here, we have the Zelda lamp from EB Games, along with the Amiibos that are relevant to the Zelda universe. Another cheap case. These are all from EB Games. We've got Ganondorf, Link, and Link from, I believe, their first four figure statues. We've got Skurbo as well, which wasn't from EB Games. It had to be purchased in. Next shelf down, over here, we've got a Japanese calculator in the shape of a Famicom cartridge, Legend of Zelda. We've got the Figma statue, sorry, the Nendoroid statue, and the Figma statue up here. We've got all the plastic Tomy toys and a few other cheap knockoffs that all come from eBay and the plushie set. Also got one, two, three puzzles and the world of Nintendo Link and Ganondorf. This is my Skull Kid statue given to me by EB Games when that promotion came along because of my pre-order history with the Legend of Zelda series. Down here we have more world of Nintendo and Harmon Beat art, some cheap trinkets from eBay bracelets, etc. Here we have more EB Games merchandise, the multi-tool, the mugs, the uh, fight pad for the Wii U, more mugs, 
Yahtzee and of course Monopoly. Couldn't be without them. Move down to the last actual shelf. We've got sweatbands and the animated series of The Legend of Zelda. And a great series it was. We have the UDF figurines which I've bought in from Japan a number of years ago but are now on the shelf in EB Games Australia. Uh, down here we have another 3DS case and some more custom artwork where a gentleman has printed part of the cutscenes from different Zelda games onto actual film and then put artwork with them and made a actual memorabilia artboard. We also have the Hori steering wheel and fight pad for the Wii U imported in from overseas. You can see up the back here we've got more promotional material for Hyrule Warriors. And this part, this one I'm particularly fond of. This is the Johnny Lightning Racing Dreams Legend of Zelda car brought in from the US. And then right down the bottom here we have the Twilight Princess promotional board. Also got my Minish cap and then you can see hidden under there is the Hyrule Warriors pre-order gift which was the scarf from EB Games. Over that side you can see in the bad sunlight my pinata. A couple of boxes there is my Hylian shield and my master sword and then this guy you can see coming up here is my six foot tall fiberglass Oxmox promotional statue for the launch of Twilight Princess in Australia. I'm not sure which store this guy came out of. He'd spent a few hard years in some guy's garage before I found him. You can see he's a bit battered and bruised and scratched up got a bit of damage but he's a legend and he doesn't need repairing it all just adds character and there you have my entire Zelda collection uh, that's it thanks for coming on the tour of the Zelda shrine with us this little guy is gonna go and save Hyrule, and I hope to see you guys at EB Expo 2016 in the Zelda Breath of the Wild demo. Thanks.